Hold up, wait, wait. It's about that time, J-O-N. Play me some pimping. Because we don't have to wait no longer. It's time to let the streets know that we back again. Come on. With another one. That's going to be colder than the other. Yeah. For everybody in the house, even your mother's son. Now see, this show right here has been voted the number one black TV show Come on. that should have been on TV. Come on. That would have won a NAACP award. Okay. That could have been up for a Soul Train award. Right that was up. featured on the mixtape of the year. Yeah. They put a clip of us in the hottest video Preach. of the year. Preach. Joe Biden watched this shit sometime. Shit. Kamala Harris already know what it is. <laughs> Barack Obama then hit a little half a blunt to this. It was the audio, but that still count as a view. Yeah. <laughs> this is the number one show amongst women that get pregnant and be single before the baby is even born. Damn. Do you know that there isn't a podcast show there isn't a television show. There isn't anything that is watched more than the 85 South show while black women get their hair done. Mm. There's an 87% chance you're going to watch at least two episodes of this if you're getting your hair break. This show's so good, they just play it at the barbershop. You can't even hear it. Mm. I don't know who it is. But somebody who work at Walmart keep turning all the Walmart TVs on 85 South, and we appreciate that. Yeah. Seen it? Yeah. I seen set that. up all the Wi-Fi. The number one show amongst pit bull owners. <laughs> Black people who not afraid of cats watch this shit. Single ladies who got a boyfriend prefer this over any daytime drama. White women with black children. White men who buy pussy from black women. Damn. Construction workers. Yeah. People who drive trucks and operate heavy machinery. Okay. Anybody who work in any sort of factory. I heard that this is the number one show at the Kellogg Cereal Factory. Yeah. Didn't even know they had a lot of black employees. Didn't even know they had Wi-Fi in that bitch. Yeah. All my partners at Amazon done did voiceovers to parts from the 85 South show. Yeah. The coldest podcast on TikTok, and we don't even have a fucking TikTok. Oh. That is a fake person who just uploads clips. We don't know that person, mm. but I appreciate you finding golden moments that my team may have overlooked. I'm not condoning your behavior, but I'm not condemning it either. Mm. But if you are profiting from my work, I want to fight you. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a fair fight. It can be a verbal argument, a spat, yeah. a disagreement. But I want you to know that I see you. To all the people who are on social media pretending to be members of the 85 South show, fuck you. With a whale dick. Cause that's the biggest one I can think of. A blue whale. Yeah. A sperm whale. You know a whale, don't even worry about it. But that's neither here nor there. Today, we are speaking in politics. Come on. With a prolific. Come on. Extraordinary individual. Right, man. Always on, never on. Come on, man. Who is giving us hours of entertainment. Come on, man. Had the city. Via on love and hip hop. Made everybody grow. They motherfucking hair out just to put the flip in the front. This dude right here, I don't know if he just be trolling in real life or what, but he's staying some shit. He then went on Vlad and turned the internet upside down. Come on. Man, I can do this all day. Come on. And we know he got way more than one hit. Come on. We just listened about 12 of them. Come on. What the fuck is you talking about? None other than Young Jock. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, South Show. Appreciate that, my brother. First of all, it's come been on, a bro. long time coming. You're supposed to have been stopped yeah. through here. Yeah. You know yeah. we be up leaving the airport and shit. We always got to flip it over to see what y'all got going on. Yeah. Man. Talking shit over there on the radio. You shout to shout it. Stay come on, man. Bro, y'all be having people calling in saying the wildest shit. Jock, you done been everywhere from the Forbes list 
to uh, 20 grand, yes, uh, the baby grand, uh, <laughs> old net, uh, <laughs> scores, <laughs> crow's net. Crow's <laughs> net, boy. Yes, you didn't, I'm saying, you didn't, we didn't seen you in the hood and at the BET Awards and yeah. uh, on the TV and you on three channels tonight. And yeah. Ooh, shit, man. That's hey, right. first of all, congratulations. Because yeah. a lot of people don't know how to pivot yeah. in the entertainment world, bro. You've been a rapper, you've been a uh, shit. Man. I don't even know what you call radio host no more. Hey, nigga, you don't just work at the radio, you run the whole shit. Come on, man. Personality. Man, personality. Man, personality. Well, I mean, you do more than just say, hey, what's up? You do more than people fucking think you do. Hey, this is your boy, Young Jack. I don't want to give you, you don't do that shit. I don't want to give you too much credit, but I want to give you the amount you deserve. I appreciate it. <laughs> that makes sense, though. I'm not going to give a nigga extra credit, but he, he do more shit than just be laughing and talking shit on the radio. Yeah. Um, putting out hits, riding around, clean ass shivers, and all that, man. Run yeah. us back. Now, now you a whole mogul. You covering media. TV, yeah. Film, yeah. Before got love scenes and shit. I know, I know who wrote. I know the nigga wrote the script. <laughs> Ain't you in a movie with some love scenes and shit right now? Yeah. See, ain't nobody had to tell me this shit. I do my research. I'm deep in these streets. You did. So you watch the love scene? I don't watch motherfucking love scene. It make you look at people different. <laughs> Make you look at people different, when you, especially when it's people you know. It ain't just movies no more. These be your partners. You can skip past some of this shit. As long as you see most of it, most of the movie. You, you know, know what happened. Yeah, you know what happened, bro. You know what happened, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. As <laughs> long as you know what happened. You done went on the podcast and went viral with this chick talking crazy to you? Yeah. That was interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I ain't see it, you know, I ain't, I, I just, I didn't want to accept it as a negative moment, because as we kept going, she was really trying to clean it up. You know what she I'm saying? Young. I know, and I felt like if, if if she was really on some trolling for uh, Internet type a shit. view, I think yeah. she would have stuck, stuck to it. Yeah. Because I'm not like a threatening person, so I wouldn't have made her feel no kind of way. So it wasn't a reason for her to retract, you know, the way she did. It appeared that she did anyway, but it was cool. It was cool. I was just like, you know what? That's a good question. Because it might be more, it ain't no might. It's more people out there just like you. I get niggas tell me all the time I was one hit wonder. And I be like, okay, I don't even care to argue, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's so whatever. But the world came to my defense, you know what I'm saying, the hood. They damn sure did. It's yeah. surprising. Motherfuckers act like a what? You got more than one hit, but one hit, nigga. Y'all ain't yeah. got one hit. Yeah, but it's. One hit, you can eat for life. Yeah, nigga. You, you it, play it, right? Yeah, some motherfuckers, yeah. But you got more than, like, that's it's crazy. Like, it's, it's all good at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It was, it's what it was. It taught me a valuable lesson, you know what I'm saying? To just, just hold it in the road. Sometimes you ain't got to say too much. Right. You know, because when, you know, when you, self-proclamation is cool. You know, a lot of people, boastful people do it. Rappers, we all do it, you know what I'm saying? But That's part so, of the game. I understand, but, you know, that was the moment I didn't have to, self-proclamate myself, the people stepped up, you know what I'm saying, out of love and just, you know what I'm saying? And it really wasn't an attack on her, although some people were yeah. attacking her. You but know, that's, that's that, they gonna that do that every week, yeah. no matter what she said. Every day, yeah, I know. <clears throat> so to see that happen, that you know, it kind of it puts you in the mind's frame of, we have to watch what we say. Yeah. Some, somewhere in there we gotta have a reset, a default, you know what I'm saying? Because the way shit going today, people saying anything, doing anything, you know what I'm saying, don't care, because they don't see a, like, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? You gonna say something, you see me in public? You know, niggas don't care. So, I think it's, it's good for a reset. Let people say, hold on, let me think about this because I don't know the backlash that come from it. You know right. what I'm saying? Help us with our governing. Right. Yeah. I think that's what we lacking a lot in our community, that self-governing. Niggas don't know how to hold it. They just go all the way off the deep end just because they're offended. I think we're emotional, but it's okay. Man, what made you get all them late 90s hairstyles? Um, you had to swoop. What you cut? Why you cut the swoop off? It was, it was, you know, it had its course. It, had, it ran its course. Oh. It was just. What made you do that shit, John? Bro, listen. <laughs> Think about this. That shit that went triple platinum <laughs> on the memes, nigga. I know you saw them, but that shit was funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny? You stand in front of people and make them laugh, and you do a good job at it, right? Right. Um, that was the funny part about it because knowing you, I know you genuinely didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't. 
Because you came uh, back with a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more. <laughs> a few more. Yeah. yeah, a few more. No, nah, I mean. Ball, you? <laughs> yeah. You know what's so crazy, man? Uh, I just got different antics. Yeah. See, you know, I why people try to be their hardest, try to be the most richest, try to act like they the, got the best, most players lifestyle. I don't do none of that. I do something so crazy and left that it'll cut through all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not boasting about the shit. I'm just, that's just me. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just me. Shit worked, man. It works. You been, you know, you was doing that even like, you had some funny shit in your videos. Well, like, yeah, styles, man. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all this shit, man, sometimes, man, you know, we we uh we we judge we quick to judge just in us all they say you're not supposed to judge but we all judge even the holiest people judge you know yeah what I'm this saying? should be fun sometimes but sometimes fun judging people yeah. that's that's just the honest truth right yeah <clears throat> and don't me dream malicious yeah I don't judge nobody so I don't, I don't really care what people say or think about me you know what I'm saying I know. I got a pure heart, bro, in, for, in real life. Like, I don't want to hurt nobody. I ain't trying to scam you. I don't want to double cross you, triple cross you. You know, I don't ever want to play you like you less than me. You know, right. that's just me. And I think people know that now over the years of just watching me grow and be who I am unapologetically. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I was 21, 20 years old, right? Yeah. So for me, Man. with that kind of money, still living in the projects, we had to figure it out. Right? What's happening, Phoenix? Phoenix! Hey! Where the fuck did all these black people come from in Phoenix? Where y'all been? What's happening? Where y'all been? And I'm not speaking for every man in the, in the... If I make it to be making 200 million, Nigga, I can make 200,000, I feel like I supposed to fuck any bitch I want to. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode. Perfect. Show these nigga the trick. Now, this my house. I done took y'all everywhere else. Now, come on over. All them vines and shit. Them old days and shit. Welcome to the pizza ad. What oh, we yeah. got right here? This granddaddy, man. This come uh, on. This is what I got for my 40th. I ain't do nothing to it. Usually, I put 40s on everything I got. Um, I ain't do nothing to this, but put some music in there. You know what I'm saying? Did you do the do on it? Did you yes, sir. Woo, you, you was hitting on that joint? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Give him a booty eight all that. Yeah. God damn, okay. That's living the life. When you, when you on the, hold on, when you stand on a blow-up mattress and you can get a girl lick your ass, eat your ass, yeah. you a bad, you cold-blooded. Hey. You know about shit. Nigga be broken in bitch, man, think about it. You ever been so broke, you just feel like you about to pass away sometime soon? <laughs> you be like, I know God ain't got me out here living like this. A Bay Area native, you understand me? You got this, you got to get this monkey off your back, you understand me? <laughs> if you ain't never broke a female off no chicken. <laughs> now, it's nothing that, you know, men should glorify and be proud of, but, you know, it's just culture. All first time users that deposit and use my promo code will receive 100% instant deposit match up to $100. So that's if you deposit $100. Price Picks will give you $100. If you deposit $50, Price Picks will give you $50. How does it work? You pick two to six players, and if they will go on to score more or less of their Price Picks projections, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go head over to Price Picks right now by tapping that link below and tell them 85 South sent you over for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Price Picks. Price Picks entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. Price Picks is safe 
and offers fast withdrawals. Download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure you use promo code 85 South when you sign up. Hey, what's up, Chicago? It's your man Carlos Miller, July the 21st. I will be in the city. Pull up on me, man. You know I'm gonna be at the Riviera Theater, man. So you know, put your little clean ass outfit on. Make sure your lady looking good and pull up on your folks, man. We're gonna have a good time. We're talking good shit, Chicago. That's July the 21st. Come check up on me. We're gonna be cleaner than a mug in there. Come see me. At the end of the day, I'm on tour, so just make sure you get the tickets and holler at me and, you know, just come have a good time. I'll see you when I get there. I might as well enjoy yourself. You know your car getting broke into tonight. <laughs> We are shooting a special, and you is doing your OnlyFans content on stage. Yeah. I'm trying to get some more followers. Just do what you shake, 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 shake. Oh man, shake, 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 shake. Make the whole crowd shake, 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 shake. My daddy had me with six to one. When he nutted, bro, wasn't nobody in there with me. It was just me. You was the only sperm. I was like, so don't nobody want to come? Okay, shit. This is easy. I'm through smoking weed. That shit ain't got too strong. Why you say that? Because I was had the other day. Ordered a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> the one that you lay between the legs. That, that ain't really a bad idea. I'm at home taking naps like I'm 10 months. <laughs> Of that shit well. People jump on the internet and say just all kind of outlandish shit. They do. But the way you respond to it is like, where this shit even came from? Hey man, I'm gonna be honest with you. That be some of the funniest shit though. When people get at you. Yeah. And they could just say some shit that could sting a little bit. Like, ooh, that be some of the best like ammo for you, man. Like make you, it like, like you gotta take the negative energy and take it in and be like, all right, I know you probably a seven-year-old kid talking shit to me on the other side of this. <laughs> I know you might be a broke-ass 38-year-old nigga who ain't got shit. It's okay. You might be one of them guys who really got everything they both seem to have, but it don't even matter, because I'm gonna take this shit, I'm gonna internalize it, and I just, I ain't gonna say I love negative energy. I don't, but I, I've learned how to take negative energy and turn it into positive energy. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I, I ain't gonna wanna use the word master that, but I've uh, I've recycled the process a few times. You know what I'm saying? You want that Michael Jordan shit? I took his person. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That last damn shit. Yeah. yeah. Mike took everything personal. Nigga didn't even do nothing to that nigga, man. They said they ain't have no ice in the dressing room. <laughs> nigga, birds was chirping this morning. This nigga sent the birds. Took that person. You can drop 40 on me because birds was chirping. No, nigga. <laughs> but sometimes you got to do. Nigga, nigga said he was a big fan in the third quarter. Mm. Took that person. Mike was an evil, vengeful motherfucker. That's your, that's your story on Mike? They, that's how he wanted to play it on some villain shit. It's so crazy. I ain't he wasn't like to say that. Jock, what made you go? I ain't never heard about this shit. Mike, Michael Jordan. What's your perspective? I'm saying oh, that. I mean, he was a villain. I had an encounter with Michael Jordan, so what that happened? shit. So that shit, uh, comedian told me. Oh, he don't fuck with. He ain't fuck with you either. Nah, I ain't. You know, I, <laughs> you know how you just. I don't even want to say no better. But if you, you know better, the, you ain't even trying, Mike. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, you just yeah, say, yeah, if you do better, yeah. you do better. <laughs> See, this story is so funny, cuz <laughs> me now really were geeking about me and Michael Jordan. And I understand, cuz I was like, damn, nigga, I'm in the room with Michael Jordan. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, that little Scotty Pippen. I'm like, nigga, that go. I'm like, oh shit, Spike Lee? I'm right, like, legends, right? right, right? right and right. I'm in the party. I'm here. And Roxy was in there with Michael Jordan. Right. Michael was smoking him. A crazy stick. Yeah. Same thing like 1200. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? The guard. I'm looking through there, I'm like, nigga, that's on Michael Jordan. Roxy come out, hey. I'm like, Roxy, what up, girl? She's like, oh shit. Have you met you met Michael? I'm like, I ain't met no fucking Michael Jordan. Right, right. <laughs> but I ain't, I'm like, nah, I ain't met him. Right, right. She's like, right. I wanna, I want you to come in and speak. I'm like, that shit paused in my head. <laughs> Before I see going on some, I want you to come in and speak. How you about to introduce me and how this man gonna react? I'm, I'm real big right. on energy. Right. <clears throat> don't bring me around like you. I don't like know you, you and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and everybody in the room looking like this. Yeah, it's just, and, and MJ, he just is cool. He ain't even thinking about shit. He's so fucking rich. But I walk in and he look at me. I say, all right. He like, yeah. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go out this way. <laughs> like, I knew some shit. But you spoke, I yeah. I felt the energy. Because Anything it, more than that when I, I, You know what I'm saying? Because he could have been like, what's up, man? Right. Hey, man, my, my, my nephew, my, somebody love you. I love you. That nigga's not doing nephew. your dance. Oh, <laughs> shit, it would have blew me the fuck away, but I ain't getting none of that. Nope. Damn. That shit was absent. And I looked at him and I was like, and it was like, it was like he was like, all right. I, ain't know, I don't know if he was like right, going out the door, but I was just like, I'm going out the way. <laughs> so got, man, I'm standing out there, so committed, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and I'm like, oh shit, you met him? Man, I can't wait to meet this nigga, man. This nigga legendary. I'm looking at this nigga like, uh, <laughs> man, I'm joking, yeah. But I was looking at the energy, I was like, boy, I hope we calm that shit down a little bit. Man, that nigga stepped to Michael Jordan and said, hey man. I love you, dog. I just bought this goddamn jersey from an auction. But I just get you to sign it. You know what I'm saying? How much you pay for that jersey at the auction? I think nigga said he, he, he might have, I'm like 15,000. Mark Jones, I'll tell you what. You go get a jersey. You gonna get one of my jerseys. And they said, I'm going to sign that motherfucker. You give me 30000 Because he really, like, you know, it was like, I don't know. I, it was just I, it was just the wrong timing for Camille not to say that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe Michael Jordan, the food was spicy. He got you know, had irritable bowels. Or something. You know, nigga might have had irritable bowels or something. So Mike said, know. go get another jersey. Yeah, nigga. He was like, basically like, look, man, don't sit here and tell me what you paid for a motherfucking jersey. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm rich. Like, it was, it was like that energy. And I was like, oh, shit. And then, took that person. Comedian, I was like, all right, man. Like, he's supposed to be a comedian, no doubt. Damn it. And, and Mike was like, man, get this nigga out of my motherfucking face. <laughs> he was just like, man, get this nigga out of my face, man. 30 wrecks. And man, comedian, I just looked at me and was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to hold out, like, you, 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 you got this nigga finna cry. You better not, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't you make that face. No. You already know how you look already. Don't he do that. Cried. He cried. Nah, man, nigga, really, it was, it was hurt. But I knew, I knew it was finna, I don't know why, I just knew it was gonna happen. You know, it's just a certain caliber of, of uh, it's a certain status certain people have. And when they walk in the room, they'll suck all the out that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, MJ is one of them people. He walk, if he, nigga, you don't know everybody you done met, everybody in this room we done met, been around, who done possibly done walked in here, sit on y'all sofa, y'all had legends in here. But that nigga walk in, we all would be like, You wouldn't even know what to say. You'll roll back into the knock all that shit over like. <laughs> Dude, then you jump up like I'm leaving. Read it, I made it. I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go, I'm, right. I'm taking shit that far. So, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna fucking leave. Because you know, y'all play too fucking well. When you in the presence of somebody that just like, you in the presence of somebody that, you mm -hmm. gotta just know, you gotta hold that shit in the mm -hmm. room. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be cool so you can come back around, nigga. Like. Yeah, that whole story was crazy, because the front part of the story, nigga, my hotel was right across the street from Michael Jordan party, right? Rushing, not thinking, moving, young nigga shit. I get over there, and like, young job, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel to be in the presence of a legend? I was like, man, I don't know, I ain't been in there yet, but it feel good, I think. It's like, so, what does Michael Jordan mean to basketball, I'm like, shit, I mean, he's the epitome of the very sport, you know? I'm like, I mean, he's, he's huge, I mean, like, legendary, you yeah. know? He's like, well, I got a question for you. If you got that much respect for Michael Jordan, 
Why would you come to a Jordan party with Adidas on? No. I looked down like, oh, no. fuck. <laughs> Bro, I looked back up at his ass, call off here. <laughs> Damn. Because I didn't want to fuck up my J's. And everybody like, oh. <laughs> It was like a real TV moment. I walked in the party. Everybody like, hey, I swear to God, I swear to God. It's on the comedian that told the story. I walked in that motherfucker like, huh. I felt good. It was like, woo, yeah. that was a good thing. Because right when answer. you said it, I that didn't was the even, perfect. I didn't consider that shit like that. But then when I looked down, I seen them Adidas. I was like, bro. You fucked up. Nigga, this on TV. <laughs> like, all the cameras just were like, shh. And it was at that moment, this, Young Jock knew. This, this he is, fucked up. He fucked up. No, he Michael got about Jordan that party. Bitch, So it was like real press. I ain't talking about just like, the, you know what I'm saying, a few little homies in the hood. And look, it was like, camera like, shh. The nigga went right to my feet and I was like, oh my God. Shit. This shit finna ruin everything. But yeah, that was my experience with Michael Jordan. He was a nice guy to me. That might be why he ain't kicking with you. What? You saw you had on Man, that Adidas. that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I'm human. I make mistakes. You said it like you know he watched it. You know why? Mm. Because he absolutely does. Welcome back yeah. to the 85 South. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Man, you crazy as hell you think Michael Jordan don't know about this shit. He got a TV with a backboard. Man. A backboard with a TV at. He seen me nah. rocking all these fucking J's on here. Nah, he know about, he know about Touch me know about this shit. Does. Everybody does. Well, hold on, what you mean? It's the blackest show on TV that ain't no TV. I'm oh. sure when he gets Speaking of ice black cryo shows ass, on TV, show. what made you go fuck with the love of hip hop? Come on, man. Oh. Uh, Shit, it kind of presented itself. They had a bag. They had a it bag for you. Yeah, nah, it oh, they didn't no handle bag. bag? Nah, it wasn't no bag for me. Mm. Oh God, it wasn't no bag for me at that point. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. Like, hell yeah. That's how, you get, that's how they get you, I right? I was like, well, this shit might be some money right here. I might, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, I watched these first two seasons of this show, like, all right, I see what we need. Y'all niggas don't know how to make a nigga laugh just on some cool shit and be yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm watching niggas like y'all trying to be like y'all superstars and number one artists at the moment when the world, we know the truth at the moment, that's not it. Now you about to be repolished and rebranded through the, through the lens of this show, you know what I'm saying? But the people I see, people trying to depict, that I'm like, that ain't, that ain't it. So I was like, this should be easy, I'ma just be myself. And the minute, you know, I, 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 I stepped on set with Carly Red. She hit me with a curveball. <laughs> so motherfucking strong. The jab was like, Doof. I was like, oh, this is fucking love and hip hop. What am I thinking about? First thing she said, oh, baby, you love me? I was like, yeah. That was all right. I ain't one tripping. She's like, give me a kiss. I was like, all right. I'm like, now I'm kissing, talking about I love you on TV. This is new for me. It's new, right? Then she said, baby, I know you've been cheating. That's exactly what the fuck I did. What the, what, that's what I did. I said, what? She said, you know how I know? I said, how? Because you've been wearing the same clothes for three days in a row. And I'm trying to figure out how the fuck do that correlate to cheating? I'm like, what are you talking about? And that's when I knew for real that my girl was crazy and I was in for the ride of my life with that franchise. And yeah, it was fun. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got no other cheating clothes? <laughs> yeah, you got you got you cheating. You gonna keep cheating in the same outfit, y'all? Yeah. That's why I didn't understand which I I didn't understand. You be wearing the same clothes for three. You are a young jock. You I can't do this shit yeah, like you're that. You're absolutely right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. Same outfit. <laughs> I'm talking about, she said, I did that shit through that. I wanted to be like, when? But then I ain't want to see him petty as fuck. Be like, when? T t t tell me today the I went through yeah. that. Like, I, so I just was like, what? That still don't tell you why I went on the show. I went a long way around that motherfucking question. That, because I can tell that when she said that, that shit bothers you. Not you didn't get to me. say it. Not didn't bother me. Because you brought it back up. Not didn't bother me. It bothered me when, when got down. The first, the first episode dropped, and I didn't know what it was gonna be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, what the hell it is about to be, man? I'm like, as soon as I see it, I'm like, oh my god. 
this shit finna go crazy. I knew. I already knew. I, I was like, it's finna go crazy. And it did. And been going crazy. How you felt about the editor? You was cool with how they edited you and everything? Because I know some people be like, they, they did that. I ain't show what I really did. Like, but you did that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep it a book. <laughs> I always tell anybody that's, that's doing anything in front of a camera, if you do that shit in front of that camera, you gotta own that shit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck yeah. what you say. You gotta stand on it. Yeah. You can't fool me and say you didn't mean that. When I saw you do what you did and say what you said with the tone, the mm -hmm. temperament, the energy, the consistency, and how you, nigga, you meant that shit. You gotta yeah. stand on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I tell anybody, you get in front of the camera, mean it. Mean it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you, you, can never, you can never live it down. All right, so that was your intro to the show, but you yeah. stayed on there and got in different relationships and all that shit. True. Now, what was your... Now, you really, see, really, I'm going to keep it 100 done with you. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100 done with you, boy. You is really, you really, yeah. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to do it. I tell you I won't do it. I really been trying to live out your life. What the, what the, what the hell? <laughs> that is not, that, blood, please. I really been trying to live out your life. On what, this. what are you talking about? My life ain't got shit to do with this. Man, I'm up, man. You know how many motherfuckers that came and talked to me about you? Nah. Boy. Okay. No, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Nah, my you life ain't. Good. What you mean? Well, my life ain't interested enough for a VH1. Nah, it definitely is, boy. Nah, I ain't no boy. shit. You can't be that funny and not be interested. It's, I'm funny. Bro, you ain't just, I have a nah, lot of fun. you ain't just funny though. You smart. Smart as hell. Come from the pain. Yeah. I, well, I don't give a fuck where it come from. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't just saying smart shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't have some real experiences. Don't that. fucking tell these people this shit. <laughs> he is making this up. Yes, I am. As I go. I have been through nothing. <laughs> I live in a rubber box. <laughs> Don't listen to me. I am just a comedian. Don't fucking, you gonna expose. What do, I can't go on the fucking show after this, Jug. This is all I got. Right. Well, it's finally time for pool parties, backyard barbecues, and outdoor adventures. With a Dash Pass membership from DoorDash, you can have your best summer. With members only offers, drops, and events right now through July 19th. With the summer of Dash Pass, you'll enjoy no delivery fees and reduced service fees on all eligible orders, making it easier and more affordable than ever to stock up on all your favorite summertime essentials. But that's not all. You'll also get access to thousands of offers nationwide, ensuring that summer is one to remember. So kick back, relax, and let Dash Pass help you experience the best of your neighborhood for less. Summer of Dash Pads is a once-a-year event you don't want to miss, thanks to the chance to get special access to members-only events, whether you're into sports, music, or just great snacks. Experience a summer like no other. Best your best summer with a Dash Pass membership today from DoorDash. Sign up for Dash Pass now and you'll get your first month free. Plus, when you use our promo code, you'll get up to 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more dollars on your next Dash Pass order. When you download the DoorDash app, enter code SOUTH2023SUMMER. That's 50% off when you spend $10 or more on your next Dash Pass order. When you download the DoorDash app and enter the code SOUTH2023SUMMER. Don't forget, SOUTH2023SUMMER for 50% off your next order. Subject to change, terms and conditions apply. Hey, what's up, Virginia? July 22nd, I will be in Tyson's Corner. Talk to me. What you got going on on the 22nd? Pull up on me. What's the theater, Craig? Capital One Hall. Capital One Hall, that's where we gonna be. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. I've been trying to see you. I know what you said about, come over there though. I'm working on something bigger than us. Cause at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I need you to be there so I can tell some jokes to you. I'll see you when you come see me. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller. Look, we got a special deal for all our listeners who want to try Blue Chew for free. Go to the website, bluechew.com, and use promo code 85SOUTH and get your first month free. Just pay $5 shipping and tell them Carlos sent you. And hey, 
Let's not make this too hard to do. You get what I'm saying? That's right, Blue Chew can increase your performance and give you that extra confidence in the bedroom. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com, chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. It's good. It's working. I mean... Y'all always keep us entertained. Y'all keep the world entertained. Y'all keep the culture fed. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Keep doing this shit. Don't stop. Like, keep not. Going. Like, we, it's a, it ain't a lot of shit we like doing. And then this right here, like, you see, this ain't work. This is, yeah. we collect the information to further the black community. Hey, man. Like, if we see you on TV all the time, we'll never get your side of the story. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's only right you stop through here and at least yeah. catch us up on on the moments and shit yeah. like that, yeah. so you can keep coming back and telling us. No, you got right. to. Man, we really need to, to do like a, a love and hip hop viewing party or some shit. Some, I know people. Well, I'm gonna say this. Two new shows just premiered tonight. Let's on, go. Uh, MTV. What shows you on, Jock? Uh, one is Couples Retreat. Okay, show some okay. love to couple. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. I went to Vegas. What uh, you do on there, man? Uh, I know you wasn't well, on there acting therapy. right, Jeff. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was. Uh, it was challenges or it therapy? Was, it, was cher- it was therapy. It was therapy. How that shit work, man? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Honestly, I'm gonna keep, I'm keep yeah, it on. Come on, man. You a black man going to therapy, man? You gotta share your experience with the rest of the black men. As a man. As a black man. Okay. Um, willing to challenge himself and his partner, you know what I'm saying? His wife, and his wife having the same concept and understanding that concept and us both willing to go challenge each other. Mm -hmm. You know, this was one of the most uh, therapeutic things I've ever experienced in my life. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Because at first, when I was going, I was like, man, I wonder if this shit gonna, like, I hope this helps. I hope this helps, and man, when you got a referee, if you, could you imagine every time you got in an argument with your lady, you had a referee there, two referees to just be like, hold on, all right, time out. Now let's think about what you. Nah, because that'll piss me off. Don't don't stop me when I'm arguing. No, no, no. Don't no. cut me off. No. Oh, don't. Nah, see, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's look, what I'm talking see, about. Look, you no, got this trauma. is different. You got trauma. Hell yeah! It's a ref. I want to help you with it. No, <laughs> but the ref be keeping score too, low key. Yeah, no. And you know who's going up? I keep. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up, baby. And you, and you working on it? And See, you working on that it? that shit gonna hurt like I'm hell up. when the referee look over and be like, show your ass, big dog. You're down six to one. You better do something. Well, that's where you know what bring, you gotta do. You better bring up some old shit or something. She finna knock you out. No, it ain't about that shit. It's about <laughs> actually like, ain't that what I said? I told you. I said, yeah. Bro, I feel you. I boy, that'll know. have everybody fucked up. Man, we had some real obstacles and challenges to deal with in our life. You right? cried? Nah, I ain't cried low. Don't do that, Glenn. Man, I don't fucking be don't on here laughing and no, shit, Jack. No, why you Because you talking about like, this is the most it's therapy okay. shit. I man, I don't, hey. But you know what, though? I'm telling the truth. All right, but did you crack? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you're not finna come on here and move. You gotta watch the show, oh, man. man. Yeah. You gotta yeah, watch the show. Away. You okay. gotta watch the show. Okay. That came right. on tonight. Okay, what's the other one then, Jack? The other one is uh, Run It Back. He get paid per tier. <laughs> like, I give you 13 tiers. I give you 13 tiers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the other show called Run It Back, and um, it started from season one of Love and Hip Hop. And it's allowed selected, you know, certain select cast members to come back on and talk about the show. And that's like really break it down. You know, if it's a scene where you might have did some some dumb shit in it, you get to really tell your truth and why you did the dumb shit. Or we might talk shit about it. John, you know, we just picking it apart, dissecting it. And it's really um, it's interesting because you could kind of hear the growth yeah. in somebody talking about some shit they did to they self or they see they self and be like, man, I before them checks came. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even like, damn, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's a good show. I think it's gonna do well, you know what I'm saying? Both uh, premiered tonight on uh, MTV. Okay. Yeah. Right, and you still fucking with the love and hip hop? Yeah. 
That's what's up, man. Yeah. I mean, you gotta think, I been, you know, you, you know, it's, it's, it's shows that we grew up um, watching and loving, and they weren't even around for th 12 episodes, mm -hmm. I mean, 12 seasons. What made you uh, hit that pivot and fuck with the radio? Um, truthfully, as a, as a, as a father, you know, the challenges of, of spending time with my kids, man, or just being able to be home, it was it was so real. It was like, damn, man, I always, it's like, I asked God for this life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's been so good to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been eating, you know what I'm saying? My family's straight, and then it's like, but damn, I, I asked for this, but look at what I got to do to, to live this lifestyle. Like, I gotta be gone to go get that bag, man, you know what I'm saying? And every time I touch down in a new city, I'm with strangers. Um, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you Motherfuckers know, who don't give a fuck is. about you. And you, you giving just, them your energy and not to your kids. Yeah. And, and, and then you look up and it's like, damn. Like, I really gotta sit back and wait on a promoter to be like, I think, bro, it's hot enough, or he got enough fans in this market, this area, this weekend, this whatever the fuck. I'm gonna book him and I'm gonna pay him to come down here. When I sit back and I think about damn, how many motherfuckers really gotta be sitting back thinking I can make money off of him for me to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I and I stopped. I didn't. I wasn't happy with the notion of that shit. I'm like, right. nah, man. I need to create some other shit. So I started promoting in Atlanta. And you know, niggas will be looking at you like, oh, oh so you promote? I'm like, okay, my boy. This buddy. nigga promote. Yeah, be like, oh, this nigga promote. Oh, he promoting now, right? Right, yeah, it be that. This nigga promoting that. Like, and then, but some niggas be looking at you like, damn, bro, I'm gonna be fucked up. Nigga try to promote a club. Right. Right, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, but get what? Here doing bad, bro. Ooh. Hey. And, then, and then get what? Hey. I seen him promoting a little. Oh, yeah, little no, 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 matter no, 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 matter of fact, check the little flyer and look at your boy. Oh, he yeah. on that smile. Oh, he on that smile. He on the yeah. fly. You know what I'm saying? Five dollars to get oh, in. Oh, man, down bad. Boy, this nigga down bad. This nigga doing grand opening. VIP ain't before the This nigga doing grand opening now. But I say yeah. the play don't hold with 300 people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So to do that, I said, well, shit, I'm, I know enough enough cats that's on, you know what I'm saying, artists, entertainers, shit like that, that I got great relationships with. I'm like, shit, I book them, I, I bring them into, the, uh, into my spots. Mm -hmm. The same way people do me like that. Right. So instead of me looking at it, I got to wait on somebody to book me. Whenever I'm ready to make money, I make the money. And you in the city. So I started promoting, and then uh, my homegirl, Holly, she was like, hey, man, I want you to holler at somebody from the radio station. She was like, you know, Zim. She was like, you need to do some uh, commercials. I'm like, for the strip club? This little ass strip club? I was like, no, I don't know about that. I'm like, no, I'm good. And she was like, no, I think it'll be good. It'll be just a, a good way to open a new relationship. I was like, all right, cool. So I meet me, I'm like, what's up, bro? He's like, I'm Zim, I work at the station. I'm like, so I go to cut a uh, uh, commercial. And when I went and cut the commercial, I went and talked to Steve, the owner of the station. I was like, hey, bro, put me on the radio. And he was looking at me like, for real? And I said, yeah. Seven years later, yeah, I am. A, a number one morning show, a number one syndicated on, morning show. Talk your shit. Come on, man. So, you know, it's, it's times <laughs> when you don't even realize, like, be bigger, bigger plans out there, bigger plays. Cause you know, I was like, I was looking at radio like shit. I can go buy a club, and then I can goddamn promote. I can send the traffic to me, and that's what I did. And I, and, I, and um, you know, I did that for like the last, I say. Five, five years. Say about five mm -hmm. years, last five, six years. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about our culture. I learned a lot about what we like, what we don't like, shit we need, we don't need, you know what I'm saying? Through all that, because every day I had to interact with so many people. Yeah. Even though everybody coming for a common cause to come party and shit like that, but everybody had different angles. Yeah. You know, I just, I mean, Did you have an understanding how radio worked as an artist? And when I first got see, on? Yeah, when you first coming into the music business. Now you get to see how radio worked from the inside out. Well, I saw it, because I was doing so much. Like, yeah, I you was, was doing so much. Radio friendly, you was radio work. heavy. I was, I'm saying, before I got on, I was doing a lot of stuff with different different labels. You know, moving around with shit, So So Duff with Miss B and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just moving around, trying to find my way. Yeah. And um, doing that shit, I had to deal with a lot of radio people. and. Cause I didn't come out like this little thirsty cat. I came all clean cut, you know, I could speak and then so you know, nigga give me a whole different whoop walk, you know what I'm saying, the convo, you know what I mean? All right. And then, you know, I started realizing like, you know what, this shit ain't nothing but relationships. 
That's all this shit is, relationship. Then once you, you realize you got relationships, right? Now you look at the boy, like, okay, I got all these relationships. Now all I gotta do is get people to be able to recognize me. Then they can acknowledge me. So I gotta stay in their face. So once they recognize, you know, like right now, I always tell this, you know what I'm saying? We get on the elevator right now, somebody in a suit, and we don't know who they are. We might not recognize them. We might not acknowledge them. We might just be like, what's happening? You know, you might not even say nothing, right? But if I get on the elevator and I recognize you, oh shit, you Carlos. That's, that's when I celebrate the moment. That's when you become a celebrity, when, when, when you got more people that are willing to acknowledge you once they recognize, you know what I'm saying? So I just played that this whole way. That's all I've been on. I'm gonna make sure people recognize me. And that's one of the reasons I always do different things because I want you to be able to recognize me. Like, yo. And they acknowledge, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care for them to acknowledge me for the, the trolling I do. I rather them <laughs> acknowledge me for the good yeah, I do. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. I, but I put in the work, the man I was to, yeah. you know, to be who I am. And I'm, I'm, I'm unapologetic about it. I don't, man, you know, I'm not, I don't do nothing in malice, with malice, intent. So sometimes, man, people be like, man, you kind of offended me with something. I'm so sorry, brother. Like, that was not my intent. You just got hit with the guy that, uh, I'm just cross, guy. Yeah, it happens sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's why I don't be, I don't be upset when nigga get at my head. I'm like, man, whatever. Part of the game. Yeah, all day. All day. You do, yeah, I, you, you take shit in stride with a smile and you go and you get you some money, man. I yeah. fuck with you, bro. Like, I ain't never really seen you yelling all in the screen or young jock. Loses it. Nah, he be mad as hell on the Vlad interview. <laughs> that be control, though. Uh, but <laughs> that ain't even mad, man. That's just sometimes I... Yeah, they ain't say mad. They say young jock gets passionate. Passion. There you go. Because sometimes... <laughs> That's the business man, side. Sometimes, I, you know, you wake up one day and you realize... You just start realizing some of your toxic traits. You start realizing the level of toxicity that surrounds you. You start realizing how much deceit is in your message. You know, sometimes you don't even realize you got them, you, you, you kicking some bobo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't realize it until somebody pull your coat tiller. You just wake up one day and be like, man, I'm really talking some bullshit. And it ain't enough of us ready to accept that. You know what I'm saying? It's when you get old and you listen back to some shit you say, you like, damn, I wasn't talking about shit for real. I stood on all about that light, but he wasn't talking about shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just be passionate, man. You know, it's funny to hear niggas talking about, you know, oh, you trying to be Charleston White? Nah, the fuck I ain't. I got all this a whole nother finesse. This ain't, this ain't that. Yeah. You know? I don't do what he do. I'm not even on none of that. I'm just expressing what I feel about certain things that plague us in our community. I'm not a little boy no more, you know what I'm saying? So nigga, that's why I don't really have issues with niggas out here. I don't put myself in a position to let a nigga little boy me. I'ma speak passionately on what I feel mm -hmm. is, is is should be spoken passionately about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about the no snitching shit. You know, it's it's like that's the like like that's the ultimate real nigga ritual. Like, boy, you can't snitch, but it's no, it's no snitching by the whole hood. And I understand that. That's how you feel, right? Like, nigga can't come around your here slit, right? Me, yeah, exactly. Right, okay. You feel like that too, right? <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't want to be around. You would, right? But if a nigga kill you, you cool with that? No. I don't like people who get violent. Why, why, why are you killing people, right? Uh, no. uh, I'm just, no, don't come I, I like to hang around no, no, people who have you goals, kill young jock. But I'm I saying, like why to be around you come people here? who got goals. Motherfuckers who still got dreams. I'm not talking People about y'all on shit, that. Uh, list, list of shit that they want to do we next are, week. I, we don't want to be around about, but I'm saying, let's not act like it ain't niggas like that around you. I know. Or have been around you. you know not no more. I understand. But in the time they was around you, until you grew to who you are today, them niggas was around you. Now you yeah. wouldn't let, yeah. let a snitch be around you. Some of See, them niggas was the killer and the snitch. Sometimes it's that, the same nigga. That's what I'm, okay, so that's the part I'm talking about. I ain't got to say shit out there. Exactly. The yeah. No, I, I, message. You yeah. weren't wrong in any yeah, of the things that you said. These niggas will kill you. <laughs> you weren't, you weren't wrong in any of the things you said. No. 
And it's your, it's your heart. Nigga, Tolo, me, said I was doing the challenge. I shot that nigga, but he shot me first. That's what I got. I was scared. This nigga whooped my ass at the club two weeks ago. Made me shit on myself. I my baby mama. I was scared. He broke my arm. Yeah. Nah, man. I, just, I don't be around people like, I'm a comedian. I you get know, it. We fucked I up. I get it, though. I'm just saying, in our culture, let's be for real. What, you saying what's celebrated? We yeah. celebrate the killer. Yeah. In the, yeah, yeah, in the music and stuff. And you'll be like, but you know, bro, don't buy shit. But you don't even got now. You know, bro, don't make going for none of that. Them boys gonna spread the block. Like, it's like. You celebrate we, that. It's kind of celebrated. But then in the minute we talk about a snitch, even if he didn't snitch on a nigga he was doing dirt with, if he just happened to see some shit and he was right there, he on camera, he saw it, he saw an innocent kid get their life took, and nigga was like, man, nigga snitched on me. And that ain't really even snitching. That was just shit cooperating because I witnessed nigga, a you child. Nigga, you killed a you child, my nigga. But, but see, but see, all that shit is still following the snitching. A nigga still try to put that under that, right? Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, yeah, I guess by the code that they, they, they See, say they're going by. Gang, by but even by the gangster shit, by the, what? the who, code, right? Who, yeah. It's supposed to be some code, right? It's supposed to be. Who the fuck but said the, that? But the all same black be people. Telling where is the code? Where the code? Is the code Who really the fuck not said that this shit applies to all black folks? I know what I'm saying. <laughs> but it's but uh, it, even if it's not, it's what be it's the what code be is what's I plaguing got you. us, my boy. I got you. Even if it ain't, that shit affects you. I don't give a fuck if you are Ivy League. Phil, Dr. Hustable, and you live over here uh, out the way. That shit affects us all, man. You know what I'm Snitching saying? Snitching and cooperating with the police should never be all no I'm saying thing. Is we just be and I out. think you 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 get into the, the, the what you call it of it? Of the word no um. Hey what man, my the police say. got too many resources, they shouldn't need no fucking help. They know every damn goddamn thing. They don't need no help. See, I ain't, put, don't see, I ain't put the emphasis on no snitching. I'm not putting emphasis on that. Right. I'm putting emphasis on all the other shit that we celebrate. It is a lot of negative shit gotcha. we celebrate. Okay. We celebrate a lot of shit, man. Yeah. We celebrate a lot of the crazy shit. Ever. I like. And we, yeah. Let me just ask you this. Go ahead. Name an elder in your family that you respect, you know, you, Grandma or somebody? All of them. Grandma, grandma, yeah, yeah, all of them, man. You know, can you take your grandmother and your daughter and your son, right, and play some of the shit that we playing right now in a room with them and really feel comfortable wa watching your 80, 90 some year old grandmama listen to this or your eight, nine, 10, 10, Eight, nine, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yo, child, listen to this shit. Would you feel comfortable? Like I'm saying, just listening and turn up and recite the lyrics and really say the shit that's in the records and the, that, that we playing. I'm talking about really for real. Yo, I mean, going? that's that's viewer discretion, John. No, 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 I'm no, not no, gonna no, no, sit no. and play all. No, I'm not gonna play the wrong shit with my grandma and my baby in there. We got shit for I that. Ain't talking about. We don't gotta listen to the hard no, shit in no, front no, of grandma no, no. and the baby. It's not that we gotta do that. But what I'm saying is if you can't listen to it, at least with them, then that means some in that message got, got your heart feeling like it's a level of disconnect, disrespect, right? Some shit I don't want to hear in front of the baby and grandma. Everything don't got matter. a place. No, I know, and, and the place that the shit that we put in our music is fucking over grandma and the baby. Well, that's what I'm saying. And you. It's, it's supposed to be more than one place to get music. We don't have to no, all listen no, to the no, same no, no, shit. You, you absolutely right, bro. I'm not here to go against the music. I'm just saying some of the shit that we listening to, that we riding to, that you don't even think affect you. You be having some emotions that you got down, don't even have to express, but yes, the music that's what music you feel supposed, away. You're supposed to have a selection of music. Sometime I want to hear some shit about some shit I know I ain't never gonna do. I'm finna go sell dope all up in these people's job. I'm kingpin today. I'm the most aggressive nigga on the street. We shot everybody. And then I might ride home and listen to some niggas like Chance the Rapper or Kendrick Lamar rap about the pyramids or the alphabet. You don't have to keep, you you listen to the shit that you pick. I also think. Don't nobody want to hear the same shit all the time? But these, these I think we the last generation that <laughs> no, really we not. do that shit. No, the fuck we as not. As far as, We bro, the first generation to do this bro. shit. No, I, it's, it's niggas that listen to one nigga all the time. It's niggas that li yeah. like these young people, they only yeah. listen to what the fuck That's they listen. That's what the fuck young people morning. do. What is it that we missing? What is it that young people do? 
They do the same shit all the time. No, they want to do the exact same shit. So, okay, I'll give it to you like this once, is different. Once they make a decision that they like this shit, that's all the fuck they like. They fanned out until they grow out of this shit. I give you, I give you this different. Sometimes they don't grow out of it. I give Sometimes you the they don't, but we, we don't can't save out. everybody. The motherfuckers who get it will. Look at this room full of people. We all listen to the most terrible shit growing up. We the busted wide open generation. <laughs> But we was literally was outside saying, but this is what when I'm Cash saying. Money Records took over for the 9 So this is what I'm saying. Nine. So this is what I'm saying. We the last generation that took the shit for what it was. We took it for entertainment. And we took the shit that we could apply from the music and used it in our life. That's why we like hustling shit. But nigga, corporate bitches, that's all they listen to. These bitches listening to Jeezy, Gucci, NBA, Jay -Z, this is what this All is up. what they listening to because they able to take the shit that you supposed to take from it. But I, I hear what Jack's saying because it's a whole generation now and they only taking the negative shit from it and taking you know it in face Because value the motherfuckers are supposed like to be telling them, hey, this is for entertainment purposes only. They ain't got no, yeah, there's we nobody got no the, We the no, motherfuckers hold supposed hold to be on, showing on. them the difference. But hold up. But as I'm sitting here telling you about it, and y'all got some of the, y'all are one of the most viewed platforms. Right. And you, and, and as we sit here, I'm telling you, because I'm not here to, I'm not on a tour, <laughs> I'm not here to shoot down our music, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want that, that to be misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? No, this is 85 South. I know, I know, but, but you know, nah, nah, I mean, we solution no, based, man. Yeah, they know we, we don't I get, get it. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, yeah. no, 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 I get all that. But it's good combo. Right. Yeah. On your Talk platforms. Yeah. And them same kids we talking about, they tuning in. So what I'm just trying to, t what I'm telling you. And ain't I nobody checked on them either. Because your, stance, your stance is what it is on Because I feel the same way you feel too, right? But then when I step back and I look, the, 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 the more, let me really just ask myself what's going on side of me. I see in the, I'm seeing this shit through a different filter. And it's not just the music, it's just the way of life, our lifestyle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like niggas is 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 really happy when other niggas is dying. Niggas is laughing. Niggas is if we make a joke. We smoking the nigga. I'm right. smoking. In the room. I'm just saying that's in the music. I'm smoking that bitch that, that said that shit about said. Emmett Till. We smoking on her pack. What's yeah, her name? That's that, that what the kids say. What's that white bitch name? Established ass, rich ass, grown man. What the fuck? Who told you? I'm, <laughs> I'm fucked up, man. I don't do this shit every week because I got money piled up. I'm talking hustling. <laughs> you know I got to fuck with you. Hey, this is hustle numbers, one on one. <laughs> Come on, man. man. That's why we brought you on here, Jock. Teach us the hey, game. Man. No, man. Because it's just, I think it's just, it's, a, it's such a hard conversation for us to have. Some Sometimes once but we, we micro focusing because we got plenty of people putting out good shit that don't get celebrated do. the way we the game. Yeah, there you go. There but, you go. But but if that should tell you right now, the the majority don't want to hear that shit. Well, what's getting pushed? Is, now, Jock, you know, now you know I gotta come back and say now you do work interest. at the radio. Come on, corporate interest. Now, interest. I heard you playing the trap music early now. Get what? I don't program that shit. Oh, now, 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 now I don't program that shit. I don't. They don't. But you, I hey, don't. You, but you got Just a responsibility, like, but see, too. Like, you program this, right? Because you know and, if he can program and, that shit, he play all his songs. I would. No, I would. <laughs> I make it. <laughs> I, 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 this I shit would do what it's supposed to be. From sun up but it's to so sun shit. down. But it is hey. some shit that, bro, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Keep it 100. It's certain shit I hear, and that's what I'm talking about, bro. I be like, damn, like. I remember when we used to, we, we couldn't do this. Like, this shit wasn't allowed. Like, damn, wait, we don't we don't let we don't just got that lax where we don't care. That's I'm acknowledging it. I'm not I'm not trying to downplay it like what I'm just acknowledging what it is. Right. It's like you wake up one day like damn, like, like damn, I'm in the car with the kids. <laughs> and the new Drake in 21 shit jamming. And that nigga say, what is that? You on your period, babe? Can you suck it? My little nephew said that shit. I was like, and he looked at me like, hell yeah, that was a ball, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at his little hand and I was like, man, I, I was like, damn, I was like, hey, hey, but I don't be, hey. Don't say that out loud no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I know it's in the head. He, he know it. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? But yeah. I'm like, don't say that out loud no more. Right. But no, Ryan, like, damn. Don't sing that part. We ain't, we ain't hear shit like but that. But you ain't telling why. You, he already, you no, know, we you talk, know? No, we talked about it. He, he, and what's interesting, he told me, he said, I know I'm supposed to say that. 
Right. I don't know why you said it with me. Because he, he with Uncle John. Get what he said? Because you a rapper. Right. 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 I yeah. like that now. See? Yeah. That ain't got sensitive, Joe. Yeah. I'm, 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 you yeah. Sensitive. Bring up Jock lyrics. Uh, no, just, come on, Jock. <laughs> Bring him up. Come on, Jock. <laughs> we gonna run him on the screen. <laughs> now you, now you, now we can't play shit in front of Grandma. You had Grandma doing this shit all summer. You know how many Grandma put their hip out of place? But every ball was not talking about me. Me at the casino. I, I can it's going, shoot going down. down. And we go <laughs> to the casino now. Yeah, you went a lot of places, but you ain't shoot up them places. That I, hey, I look back and I appreciate that. Jock, you the same nigga that said I knocked <laughs> the pussy out. He went all the places. He didn't shoot yeah, up. This missed I knocked the pussy out. Bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, I've been there. I, I, stand, yeah, I stand firm there. on that. I, I knock the pussy out, knock it out, knock. Come on, Jock. I stand firm on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can't okay, play that yeah. in front of the that babies and grandma. Them. That no, wasn't for them. You're right. But <laughs> ain't no but, Jock. I made that. that. You made it for the strip club. See, this, no, it's, it's not that you straight. You don't want your kids to hit. And I, uh, and I do never, and hey, guess I what? I acknowledge that. We gonna knock the pussy out in front of your grandma. I acknowledge that. My grandma got it. Your grandma got it. We play that. I knocked the pussy out. Knock it out. Knock it out. This your dance, son. Do the dance. Do the dance. Do the dance. Yeah. River Rock Baptist Church. Yeah, this your grandpappy did this shit. <laughs> now, the, now the kids can't hear. This is how y'all go hey, to school. Hey, listen. Hey, pussy hey, yeah, nah, but, that ain't, that ain't, hey. but that didn't get played on the radio. Yeah, you, you right. That they went playing on the radio. Yes, they right. did. No, they it played. Didn't, I right. knock it out, knock it out. They didn't play it on the radio. They might, they might do it in a the mix. They might do it in a mix. We didn't play it on the radio. Oh, they'll bleep pussy. They'll bleep pussy, and then they'll let you say it three times. Nah, man, you know the Kings are doing that yin yang. Come on, man. Yin yang make the clean version, and it, it, you forget they was even talking about fucking. Yeah. They went crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wait till I show you this. You said you told the girl you a man. Wait a minute. Nigga said, wait till I show you this. Jock told the girl. Wait till you see my dick. Yeah. Jock told the girl. Wait till I show you this. He gonna make her pussy bebop. <laughs> but the kids and the grandma can't hear that. I like I that. Though. Jock. But you that guy, a hypocrite. But that guy. It was edited out for radio. You didn't what have the to say, say. You what didn't, the radio you, say? You didn't have to get your black what? ass in that booth what and say the it. They shouldn't say. have to edit it. I now you want everybody to stop talking about fucking and violence. Make, Cause you nah, in the nah, church nah, job. Nah, 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 what the your radio say? What I said, is. cause I still perform this music to yes. the Yes, and you still and make still it pussy paid. bebop. <laughs> knock your pussy out. And you still knock it out. You, you, you walking off. Uh, nah, Y'all have a good night. Knock the pussy out. Knock it out. You walking off. And you come out like shit. a wrestler. You come out like a wrestler. Come on, man. Stone Cold music. Uh, Pac Man. Glass shatter. And then I knock the pussy out. Knock so the pussy out. Close it. Chuck, you ain't gonna do nothing to pussy out tonight. <laughs> Take that off the set list. My grandma here. <laughs> Man, this is. I don't you, know what you're talking about. Jock, you've been closing on this the whole time. <laughs> you don't want to do it in Atlanta? <laughs> you from here? This is crazy. All your friends are waiting. Your grandma out there. Your grandma out there. I hope he do not get put that. <laughs> Baby, I don't know why you ain't doing my song. Now, let me tell you this. Now, why let, you ain't doing the one where you make the pussy be by? Now, tell, now, now, now why this, Lo? I done been in some porn. See? And some grandmamas done been like, hey, I want to hear all that. See? Yeah. 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 See, John? Yeah. It's That's what I'm grandma saying. Hey, I'm time. talking about having sex. I'm not talking about killing, bro. I'm That's all about go. artists. That's the there expression. That's ain't that what it's called? And they ain't playing creative freedom. Not the, the, not the coochie out on the radio. Jock, I play that shit every time it's a function. My birthday was a couple weeks ago. We played it here. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Loud. 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 We ain't put the kids up or nothing, Jock. We did. I'm sorry. I'm this terrible. <laughs> this grown folk party. <laughs> When the last time I heard a nigga use that in the coat? <laughs> Shouldn't have made it. Shouldn't have made it. Only that nigga in the suit can say yes. that. Yeah. That fabric. Yeah, yeah. It's the Despicable. fabric. That fabric. <laughs> she came straight from the fabric. I yeah, I know. It's the fabric, Jock. <laughs> nah, I ain't, I ain't, I, you know. I just oh, speak on, speak on. I know, That's man. All. Hey, love. man. But you did say you gonna make it a is. pussy bebop. I did. I did. I did. I said a lot of shit. You did. You did. did. You bought it. That, that album sold a lot of fucking records. It did. It did change my life. You did. Come on. It did. Now your life has changed, and now we can't play it. 
Crazy, man. Y'all rapper niggas. Get that money. And just I didn't change. say you can't play it. But what you I'm said, telling you. My grandma you. and the baby in the room. <laughs> skip that one. Skip that I would skip one. it. Skip it. But, but, but what I'm saying is, with that party. type my of song, gone, though. listen, with that type of song, that's how the grandma and the baby got here. But the music that I'm talking right. about is the shit that'll send right. grandmama you and the baby away from here. Because some grandmas listen to that so blues, you, and that blues was nasty, too. That's what I'm That's the difference. Like, that blues was freaking too. But do too. you understand yeah. that the niggas who do that violence and make violent music, they gonna do that shit anyway. I know it. We not even, that shit ain't even supposed to be. It's back to what you was public. saying about That's somebody some gotta let these shit. motherfuckers know this for entertainment purposes. This ain't. Why we focused on that? It's motherfuckers out here rapping about that butterflies. Shit. Why they need you to shit. believe that? You mm -hmm. gotta, you gotta believe. A, a rap nigga ain't telling you this shit for entertainment. No, I'm saying maybe, somebody maybe trying uh, to say that. that uh, OG bullshit. gotta say it. Ain't no OG though. Hard. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Hard to say that. Yeah. Who the OG? I, 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 I'm watching you stand on this shit. You, I thought you standing on this shit. Yeah. I thought this really was going on. You can't tell me it's entertainment. Right. And you yeah, that's, get that's what we found you're out. Not, you're not gonna get the same fan out of me, nigga. And that's what we found you're out. It's not the same entertainment. From me. Don't, Don't you see all these motherfuckers in jail right now? That's what I'm saying. Doing man. all the shit that they said they'll never do. And a lot of these niggas is 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 going. It's a lot of them. Fast. But we can't fade. Hey, we gotta celebrate the motherfuckers who outside. Some people gonna always get a pass to do shit. So just celebrate the ones outside. We gonna celebrate the motherfuckers. If you and do bad shit all who, year. And overlook the ones who keep yes, fucking up. Yes, as long as you not doing this shit in real life, John. What you mean? As long we gonna have to separate the motherfuckers who really entertainers from the killers. That's it. We gonna support the entertainers and we gonna shun the killers. Cause they gonna be killers either fucking way. You think a song about he, a nigga that really, that, that really died in the, in, in the shit, and they sing about it. Once you know the nigga really died, depending on the situation given, you view it the same. Oh, or you I don't know the nigga that's dead. I right. know the nigga that made the song. They gonna celebrate it more, bro, because they gonna be like, nigga, real this nigga. story from right. his He gonna celebrate right. it more. I'm, listen, I'm not saying we don't listen to the music, bro. What we gonna do, Jock? I'm not saying I don't listen to this music. Yes. I'm not saying, hey, man, do I don't like listen it? to rap anymore. Man, I, we hear this shit, and it's, it's in you now. It's like you know it when you hear it. That's why mm -hmm. when I hear certain Little, little certain shit out here, and I'll be like, "My this nigga him hard." But Jock, you got the position. Listen, listen, listen. Bro played me a record today from a young cat. Okay. I can't remember his name. Bar for bar, this young nigga was spitting, and you won't even remember his fucking name, Jock. That's the shit I'm talking about. If hey, that man. nigga said the terrible shit, you'd be like, "That nigga name was Lil Tech Man." <laughs> he what? said, "Shoot." What his name was? Oh. Apollo Kid, yeah. Now look, but John, your Listen, position but, 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 is you bro. gotta help them niggas. You have a voice. Hear what I'm the saying. The motherfuckers who saying the I shit that you like to hear, to you gotta shit. help. What I'm saying, the nigga went hard, ball for ball for ball for ball. Like Put them on. Nigga hard. But listen, and after I finished listening to it, I was like, damn, nigga hard. Put them on. But do I even wanna be attached to any of that type of shit anymore as far as trying to push a certain narrative with the music. Bro. You say you want to push a good one. At this point, my, that ain't my focus no more. Oh, you got your money, you straight, and we can't play beat the pussy up around your money. Jock, no, you can help these niggas. That. And Find I, and the I niggas be that you like who putting out the content that you fuck with and be young jock and put them on. Be like, look, the people who got out of the That ain't what I'm trying to do right now, okay? What you trying to do? What I'm trying to do is continue to spread love, my brother. Man, fuck that love, <laughs> bro. That love got us fucked up. <laughs> fuck love, jock. Even Rihanna said oh, that man. shit. Damn. Fuck love, jock. We a black community. We try to get our paperwork straight. So what we doing? Man. Putting these young niggas on that you do uh, fuck with, and so we can quit talking about the niggas who gonna be niggas either way. Y'all been ready to get off the subject? No, we ain't. Look, we knew that you gave a fuck about this. We, we lured you into this part I of the still, conversation. I still do. Cause look, I'm still keeping tabs on what time it is. I still do. I'm just saying. John, that's why you gotta stop through here every three weeks or so, so we can have these healthy debates. <laughs> and every time you come, guess what we plan? I knock the pussy out, I'm knock it out, y'all get it out. Even if you bring your grandma. Yeah. And Make granted, more fucking my grandma, songs. My grandma definitely come up in this mall with me, y'all. Young Jack. No, man. But listen, listen, I don't want to leave on that. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is your show. I don't leave on that. Do you? Hold on. Yeah. Don't leave I'm on that. Leave Look at this job. No, 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 leave how you. Yeah. Just because I was on here talking so much shit, oh, which man, I got back. I, I know how much you I like feel, swag, I so feel I got away. you. Some, some shit, I man. Wait. I, I've been waiting on this. Yeah. I have, man. Oh, that's it right now. I want the one with the yo, there it is. Hold on, let me see. I got one soft. There it is. That's what I want. This is like that, right? Yeah. 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 Embroidered. I appreciate it. New tool it. shit. We're dropping this I like shit. it. Good Every stitch. different city. Yeah. Like it. Wrote my name on the band. That's Come on, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Come on. I do your clothes, man. He ain't clothes. right there, though. Huh? I don't want you to think he wrote nah, it. Nah, he's not. This ain't right, like I make sure. That shit I need. A girl, that shit. That shit too neat. Nah, I nigga did fuck up your name on the first. He tried to it's write your first name, nigga wrote yeah. Joyce Seal. I was like, nigga, ain't no white nigga. <laughs> you think that nigga named Joyce, my nigga? <laughs> Who the fuck is Joyce Seal? That's all oh, Just put <laughs> Jock. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, man. Sue Itchin, ain't it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, man, you know, I just realized everything I just did today. And I just realized, man, I have had a long ass day, bro. Yeah. I got up and went to radio this morning. You built for it. Got off radio, I went to court. I left court, I'm working on a new movie that I'm filming. I went and did that. I left from the set of this new movie and I went and filmed. Seeing Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. I left Love and Hip Hop and I came here. Yeah. And when I leave here, I got a whole party to go to at Boogaloo. Then I got to be right back up in the morning and do radio again at 4 a.m. Hold up. Jock, what's your birthday? September the 20th. OK. That ain't have shit to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> but when my birthday come up, they always be like, it's young Jock. I be like, I don't think that nigga birthday is Oh, yeah, they say I'm in April. Yeah. I don't know somebody did that shit at the label. Yeah, yeah now your shit, your birth, your, yeah, your, shit, your fake you. birthday pop up on mine. Yeah, Just right. like, I saw we had a picture together. That shit great. Like, oh, damn, bro, we could have been. But... <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> nah, like, nah, but he know what I'm talking about. That dude said that. Every it. year, bro, and a motherfucker hit me, be like, hey, bro, I just want to tell everybody. I'm like, bro, quick call me on. Hey, the label changed your birthday. So September, his fake no birthday good. is my real birthday. <laughs> yeah, and then they gave him fake age when I was like, you know what I'm saying? But I just said all that to say, man, uh, I really got a lot of shit going on, man. I hey, just man, we salute that. Nah, you threw a nap, my dog. You know what I'm saying? Get you some rest that, somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. I wasn't boasting. I was sitting here and saying, this, man, this nigga talking about knock it out of my grandma. No, nah, you like, said don't play it with your grandma in there. We gonna play it. No, your grandma gonna hit this I'm shit, I'm thinking though. about how delirious I am at this moment, man. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Nah, you gotta go to the party, bro. Hey, man. And when they play knock it out, you gonna be like, turn that shit off! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say turn it off. I ain't gonna say turn, turn it off. <laughs> Turn that shit up. Nah, man. I Play did. the Walmart version. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, that? Walmart. The Walmart, Walmart version. would bleep oh, out every shit. bad oh, word. Oh, yeah, that that's shit. right. Yeah. Too, yeah. You know? Yeah, they did it. They sell too, huh? I feel it sound like yeah. that shit be a. Yeah. 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 That wasn't even no cuss word. <laughs> Sounded like it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just chopping shit. <laughs> I had the CD and the song was so clean, I had to take the motherfucker out and wipe it off. I thought the disc was scratched. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker wasn't saying sh <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nah, I was just saying that to say, man, I really appreciate y'all. Let me come through, stop by. Nah, uh, man. You know, just, just. You gotta come back. And, and, and just fellowship with y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know where I'm, we at? I'm proud to see what y'all are <clears throat> doing, man. And I just want to have my shit together like y'all, man. Bro. Most of you know what I'm saying? We still working there, though. Shit, we can too. come back many times you want to. We come on, see how many times you come back bro. you run out yeah. of suits. You know what? <laughs> and every time I come with a bitch, I'm going to wear a suit. Man. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. They'll be like, we ain't came back with another suit on. <laughs> He got a red one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just had his suit. That motherfucker in the car. Jock, what's your social media, man? Man, Jock Live, that's it. Come on, man. Jock Live on IG. I don't do nothing else, man. This is gonna come out in the future, so drop the show times have time. for the, the two new ones. Uh, nah, this coming out tonight, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them niggas. No, it ain't. <laughs> what? We got a spank. <laughs> I'm going, I don't give a fuck, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want all three of your shows before you leave, Jock. You said Run It Back? Uh, yeah. The new show, Run It Back, on MTV. I believe that's on Tuesday nights. Yeah. Uh, 
Couples Retreat, also Tuesday nights, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you can catch my morning show each and every weekday morning. Young Jock in the Streets morning takeover. If you don't live in the cities where I'm syndicated, you can download the Streets app, that Streets with a Z. Listen to us anytime, drop uh, comments or commentary on anything that's on our station. And you know, keep me in your pocket. You know what I mean? Hey man, 85 South Show. Young Jock. Knock the pussy out! Hey! <laughs> my guy, my nigga. Let's do a bitch. Come on, make sure you reach your big too. Oh, we good. What's up, San Antonio? July the 28th. I'm going to be down there at the Empire Theater. Don't let nobody tell you no different. That's everybody in San Antonio, man. Pull up on me July 28th. You already know. I don't get to come to San Antonio often. But when I do, I'm in San Antonio. And I'll come see you when you come see me. Texas, July 29th, your man Carlos Miller. That's right, I'm coming down there. Where am I gonna be at, Craig? The Cullum Performance Hall. The Cullum Performance Hall. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. Cause at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I'll come see you when you come see me. now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. <laughs> 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 Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on it's Apple just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Or oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I know we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. The Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free, what about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get yeah, we saw what you said in the comments. Sure we saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad, read every and the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard. We hear you. We win and did. We we'll just get the fuck on at y'all way. Yeah. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it I at? I think they should get 37 minutes. 
Oh, see, we gotta hurry yeah, we should up. We just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you. Slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh. Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like this deep thrust? Huh? Go get it on there. Yeah. 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 That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the we app. Got sports show. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teaches. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. They didn't, the e- app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No they don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, right. man. No we got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the yeah. app. So if you want to see some shit that, you know, they trying to hide from you, Go to that. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is $8.99. Yeah. What low said? Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. Been working for free. Uh, we are going on out, baby. <coughs> we are going on out. We on your way to fly. On air. <laughs> <laughs>